people get involved in your campaign. They say, you know what? I love this woman. I love what she's doing. She's fighting for us. This is John Villarreal reporting for Conservative New Media. <coughs> that makes the most sense to me, too. I mean, a lot of these international companies will have, will have offices around the world. I know a lot of these companies are very, very big. You know, a lot of their, a lot of their, I mean, yeah, they might have headquarters there and facilities there that could certainly be at risk. I have no doubt about that. But I mean, with the IP they have and with a lot of other things they have there, you know, there's ways to sort of mitigate a lot of that risk. Doesn't mean that the stocks wouldn't take a, a, a significant hit. Depends on what's going on. But the theory would be there, hey, if they know that Israel might be striking someone, then, you know, what's going to happen to Israel vis-a-vis -vis Hezbollah or Hamas? And what if they're handed some nuclear material from, from Iran, whatever? I think, you know, it's definitely logically possible. I think that is much more of a stretch. I think that this could, this, this does feel to me like some kind of, some kind of political type of thing here where it's like, you know, they're either making a statement and or trying to put some pressure on Israel and the government there. I don't like it. I, and, you know, and, and look, we know the liberals. They love boycotts. They, they love these little statements and stuff like that. You know, boycott Arizona. You know, boycott Fox News. Boycott Glenn Beck. Boycott Rush Limbaugh. They love the boycotts. Uh, and, and so we know that it, 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 Harvard is absolutely, you know, super liberal in our personal opinion. Now, Paul, what do you think this says now about Harvard? And what do you think this says to um, really all Americans, but certainly Jewish Americans and, and Israel, Israelis and, and Jews all around the world about Harvard? Um, their, maybe their feelings towards um, uh, at least this current Israeli government? And, um, and, and Barack Obama and, and, and his feelings vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis Israel. I think what it says about Harvard, uh, I think that this is the type of thing that, in my personal opinion, Harvard would have loved to have been able to do 10 years ago, but they couldn't do it, or they didn't feel like they could do it. And there's kind of a sense of being emboldened right now because of uh, how the... Uh, the current administration uh, is um, kind of uh, attuned. I mean, we saw that with the with the, the treatment of Netanyahu when he came here earlier, not the last time, but the time before that. And Obama wouldn't take a picture with him reportedly and, and this type of thing and didn't have dinner with him, uh, uh, supposedly, etc. So this is kind of a, a kind of uh, a slap in the face is the way I would take it if I were... Uh, someone of Jewish descent, or if I, if I were Israel, I think this is this is again. This is supposed to be the United States is supposed to be one of the greatest partners of Israel, the greatest partner. Yeah. What is this, dude? I, I think it's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And if and if you know, again, this is all conjecture and all speculation. But if it is found out down the line that this was done intentionally for political reasons. Then I think that you know people have to. If I was, you know, of Jewish descent or an Israel or, or from is, is Israeli, Israel rather or whatever, I would think you know that would definitely affect how I viewed Harvard. That would definitely affect whether I cut a check to Harvard, even if I was an alumni. That would definitely affect whether I even applied to Harvard if I was a prospective student at any l level there. Because I mean, I just think that that's if they did it for political reasons, I think that's absolutely wrong. I think that, that it has the, the, the effect of hurting just hardworking people, hardworking Israelis that are at those companies, investors globally here and stuff like that. I mean, it, it penalizes all kinds of people that have nothing to do with it, number one. And number two, you're punking out a partner and you're doing it intentionally. And I just think that that's just absolutely, if true, I think that's wrong. Again, we have no idea why this was done. But I'm saying that, as someone that's very logical, it raises a lot of questions. It's, it's, it's very suspicious to me personally, my personal opinion. That's all I have to say about that. We'll link to the article down there. You read it. You tell us what you think. What do you think? Why was this done? Do you think that it's suspicious? And, and what do you think should be the takeaway from it? How should we feel about it? That's what I want to know. I am John. That is Paul. We are Conservative Media. And we will see you next time. And go Israel.